Hi, Constance. I'm Christina from Latina Magazine. Oh my God, how does that roll off your tongue? I'm Christina from Latina. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, we're so happy to be speaking with you today. We are huge fans. Me personally, I'm a huge fan. I would be remiss not to just start off by giving you your flowers because you have been a constant for me on the TV and I am just really blown away by you at all times. Oh, thank you so much. That honestly, um, being able to pay my rent for the last 35 years has been the biggest blessing, but something about being able to be a constant in people's lives for so long, like Latinas, um, I've heard everything from you're the mom that I wish I had to, um, I just, I identify with you so much. I'm just like, wow, I am, it, it gets me uh, to tear up because I just never imagined this for myself, but I am so glad that I'm part of it. I mean, I would say you definitely remind me of my mom. And if, if people can see themselves in you or see somebody in you, then there you go. The rent is just the bonus. <laughs> yeah, the rent and the groceries and everything else. <laughs> we love you in with love. We think it's such a special story and it's really unique. But like we said, people can see themselves in these storylines. So I would love to hear from you, you know, what it was like to work on this kind of all star cast of amazing Latin talent telling a really beautiful Latin story. I would say that I am the luckiest woman, luckiest actor around because I just trip into beautiful projects that are like blessings. It's almost like the next level. I have dabbled between comedy and drama for many years. You know, it's like, if I can't, nobody wants me to be funny. Well, then I'll be dramatic and vice versa. <laughs> And this show is the perfect blend of both of them. It's very reflective of life. His, you know, life is not all serious and it's not all funny. And sometimes when it's really serious, it is absurdly funny. <laughs> a great tone that we um, that we reach on this show and the amount of diversity in age, diversity in ethnicity, diversity in, in sex, we, we have it all. And I think the whole concept that Gloria calderon Kellip puts forth is that Every human experience in this family is dealt with with love and respect and integrity. And I think that's something that we all really need in the world right now. Absolutely. So I feel like it's force for good. And I am just, and the people behind the scenes, I mean, I don't know if you know them, but they're also people of integrity and the positivity and love. And it's just this great, great vehicle to be able to be a part of. It definitely shines through, but knowing that it's behind the lens as well is, yeah. you know, the icing on the cake because that's how you really are intentional about the stories that you're putting out there. Right. Well, for the Latino community, especially like we don't have any cliches. We, we, we have successful relationships. It's not all trauma. It's like good. There's good. There's long term relationships, successful businesses, education. People allowed to just be happy and exist like, oh, that that's refreshing. Right. And they're brown, too. Oh, my God. There we go. It's a plus, plus, plus. What's been the biggest lesson that you've learned throughout your life as, as it relates to love, whether it's family, platonic, romantic? Uh, what's a lesson that you've learned that you think would be worth sharing? Oh, God, that's a one. Seriously, one. Um, <laughs> you can share a few. OK. Um, truthfulness. Respectful truthfulness, I think, and honesty, I guess that's the way to put it, is is like the base of everything because you can't relate to your child, to your spouse, to your mom. Um, you know, so with the mom, sometimes you have to like, some of that honesty is, you know, just not saying something, but there has to be like a, a, a grounded honesty with yourself, with them. And then it's like a jumping off point. That's like the base of everything. And you also have to respect them with, with love in the sense like, if I want my daughter to respect me, I have to respect her. You know, whatever her choices are, I can think they're good for her or bad for her, but I have to respect that they're her choices. And same thing with my mom. I may not agree with her, but I know I love her and she's a wonderful human. And, and I have to respect that that's her path in life. And I think if we can just start with that, it, it, it's, it's really key. Nobody needs, you, you want to be right or do you want to have a relationship? 
That's beautiful, though. It, it goes both ways. And the respect to going both ways is the key, I think. This is really special. So thank you so much. Thank you, Christina from Latina. <laughs>